Well, welcome to another one of our TVE courses. This is your professor, Alex Voss, and I'm extremely happy to have you here for another course in electronics. Today, we're going into computer electronics, and we're giving you a little bit of information on how to do something that you might find very useful, and that would be downloading video from the internet. Suppose you have a video that a friend sent you on YouTube, and you'd like to copy that to your desktop as a file. I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to do the Firefox method. Now, there's many different methods for downloading video from the internet, and I've tried several, and I've been really disappointed because when you go to the internet and try and download a software that allows you to, you know, download video, lots of times you end up getting malware, you end up getting uh, viruses, or you get uh, adware, or all kinds of programs installed on your computer you really don't want. And so being the person that has gone down that road before, I've, I'm showing you a path, a safe path, for downloading your video and getting it on your computer that is like from a YouTube video or something. But I do want to remind you that when you're downloading video, you have to be aware that you cannot, it's against the law, to download intellectual property that belongs to someone else. So you just have to be very careful when you do that. And so if you're downloading something that is like a Creative Commons or something that's in the public domain, that's just fine. But you really have to be careful downloading something that doesn't belong to you. And that said, we're going to go into a step-by-step -step method that teaches you how to do this. The first part of the steps basically covers how to install Mozilla Firefox on your computer. So let's go into that. I've, I've got uh, Mozilla Firefox. It's one of my favorite web browsers. And so here we're going to talk about how to install Mozilla Firefox on your computer. And once we get the Mozilla Firefox installed, I'm going to talk to you about installing add-ons. One of the add-ons is going to be Video Download Helper, which will allow you to download video files from the internet. Now I've condensed it down into a step-by-step -step method that allows you to do this as quickly as possible, and I'm showing you all the details. Now, a lot of you that are, you know, really savvy or even moderate computer users will think this is a little bit too detailed, a little bit too long, a little bit too simple, but I am condensing it. But I'm doing this for people that might need to know these extra steps instead of, you know, there's lots of tutorials on the internet where you've got someone on a computer screen and they're talking into a mic and they're just rushing right through it and uh, people get lost right uh, maybe about three steps into it. So I'm going to take a little extra time to make sure we cover the details so that you have everything you need to know to do this. So that said, let's take a look at our steps here. Our steps for doing this, okay, we should be able to see that okay now. Uh, this is the Firefox method. So the very first thing I'm wanting to do is teach you how to download Firefox. You can download Firefox. You can download Firefox for either a PC or a Macintosh. You just need to go to Mozilla.org, and here's an exact location. And you can see it here. You can pause your video, and you can write this down if you want to download the English version of this program. Um, but in any event, you go to Mozilla.org and you can download. Now, if you were to do a web uh, search engine on another browser and say Mozilla Firefox, you may end up going to places that will say you're downloading Firefox, but actually you're downloading something else that you really do not want on your computer. And then once, that, once you get to that page, and let me see, I've got a picture of it here. I'll, I'll show you some pictures. And Yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing the... Uh, the screen grab thing because that you know people get busy with the screen grab and they forget to show you how to, how to do what you're doing or they just whiz right right through it and so you just sort of end up getting lost so I went to the trouble of getting pictures the first thing is click on the free Firefox download button and this is what it looks like when you go to that uh, mozilla.org page you're going to see the free download button so that's what you do you click on that and once you do that then it will save the file and uh, a Firefox installer window will appear on your desktop. Okay, and, and, and so when you do that, you'll end up with this. Here's your install window. And you'll see it's downloaded, it's saving the file, you're saving the file. And so once the file is fully saved, then you're going to have the program to install Firefox. Um, and so you end up then 
once you've, once you've gone past that window and once you've got a little icon that pops up that says install Firefox, then you click on that and then the Firefox setup window will appear, which will look like this. And when you get the Firefox setup window on, uh, you'll have, uh, on mine it said upgrade because I already had Firefox, but it, on yours, if you don't have Firefox, it will say install and, and that's what you do and it goes through that and you install the web browser. And so here at the end of step five, we'll be clicking through several windows uh, in the install program and I want you to pay attention to the check boxes. You, you want to make sure that the check boxes are unchecked because sometimes you'll end up installing things during this install program like antivirus programs or other programs you do not want when you're trying to install Mozilla Firefox so just pay attention to those. Once you go through all that sequence of uh, windows and, and saying next and so forth you end up with Firefox being fully installed. Now once Firefox is installed you want to open the Firefox web browser and then you, you go to this location which is basically your add-on uh, page and I've actually given you the location here which you can pause and write down to type into your computer that shows you how to get to the video download helper. And so what you do is you, we're, we're going to the page that's going to install the video download helper from the add-on page. And so when I get to there, I get to this, okay? Add-ons page, and I want to click on Add to Firefox. And so I click on that, it'll take me through another sequence of pages that will end up with the download helper being installed on your computer. You click on the install now button and that will install that program into your Firefox web browser. Now while we go into all the trouble of installing Firefox so we can have a, a clean, safe video download program. And so once you get through all of that and you've got the, the uh, video download helper installed on Firefox, you'll have to close Firefox and start again. What we need to do for the first step is we need to open the Firefox web browser and navigate to the video we want to download. Okay? And so I've just taken the liberty of choosing a picture of a video. So I've navigated to this video and I've started playing the video. Once that happens, it's playing and then when it starts playing the video download helper icon which are these three little balls up in the upper right hand corner of the picture of the screen will start spinning when those balls start spinning uh, the icon for video download helper then click on this little triangle right next to it or you can right mouse or left mouse click on the icon and access it also it's, but it's easier just to click on this little triangle and when you click on that triangle, then uh, it will give you a selection window, which looks like this. And so you have a choice here of what kind of video file you want to download. And you, in most cases, I prefer MP4, but you can download any one of these file types to your computer to use for editing or whatever. And so once you click on one, it'll start downloading the file and you'll have the file on your computer ready to use or save. Well I hope this helps you to learn how to download video files and I'm excited that you attended another TVE course and I'll see you next time.